One person that is pleased by Santorum's success, media mogul Rupert Murdoch. Of course, he owns Fox News. I'm going to put a tweet up uh, that I'd like you to take a look at. From a distance, Santorum doing great. Values really do count in America and not sneered at as in parts of Europe. Win Michigan, game over. So that's my question. Win Michigan, game over? Your thoughts on that? No, not, not even close. Let, let's be honest. You know, uh, it gives momentum to Rick Santorum if he wins Michigan and Arizona. Super Tuesday coming up in a little over a week after that. You're going to have 10 primaries. This is far from over. This, this is a battle to the end. And Rick Santorum, as his views get known more and more by mainstream Americans, they're going to see he has a major problem. He's on the far right. There are people in the Taliban who would call Rick Santorum a, a radical conservative almost. I'm not even kidding. He's sincerely, he, he's far right. He wants to see our laws in the Bible comport or agree, that is. So it's scary. I, I don't think it's, I think it's far from over. I don't think the average American has taken time from the recession and their struggle of their life to focus on this race yet. And that's going to be in the future. Who is laughing? I was laughing because, you know, the idea that Santorum is to the right of the Taliban is a little ridiculous. I mean, yeah, the guy's got some polarizing conservative issues, but uh, I, I think that's overstating it just a bit. It is slightly overstating, but let's be honest. I mean, the man is against abortion, even in the case of rape, meaning a woman who's raped has to carry a child to term. He's against gay marriage to the point where he will annul it if he's present, meaning everyone who has a gay marriage now legally will be thrown into disarray because their, their marriage is illegal. He's also against pornography, which I think is anti-American, let's be honest. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move on, gentlemen. I'm moving on to my final question here. Um, I think we're going to play by the rules today. I'm not sure. It's a one-name answer. Newt Gingrich gave an interview on the Rich Stevens radio show. So he said that he would want Brad Pitt to play him in a movie. Not because they look alike, but because it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> so who would you choose to play Newt in a movie? Um, I said I don't want any reasons on this, but I, it's just a name, but I may want reasons. Lenny, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about Anthony Hopkins, somebody that's extremely intelligent, but that's very good. scary smart. But after, after like Brad Pitt, I'm thinking about la ladies. Yeah, but then now I'm thinking about um, the ladies man. Maybe he should, he should be that after picking Brad Pitt. Maybe it goes back to his philandering past. I don't know about that Ooh, one. Man. Dean? <laughs> I think the Geico Lizard would be perfect for Newt Gingrich. Oh. You have Newt, you've got some qualities about Newt that I have real problems wow. with. And, but the Geico Lizard is likable, and that actually should be a good positive thing for Newt, because I don't think he's that likable. Jonathan? I, I get a big kick out of the Saturday Night Live parody of Newt, so who, I forget the name of the actor, but that to grant